Hello Year 6, uh, it's time for another modelling session and uh, this session we're going to be looking at translating a shape around an axis. So we've previously looked at reflecting shapes, now we're looking at translating. So just, just a quick recap, uh, when we're looking at reflecting or translating it's important to remember these points. So reflecting is where a shape is reflected so the opposite image appears on the other side of the axis. Uh, if you imagine holding a mirror along the axis and you are drawing the shape that appears in the mirror on the other side of the axis. Um, if you think about symmetry, so when you would have been a bit younger, you may have done some work about symmetry, looking at the wings of a butterfly and imagine the body of the butterfly as the axis. And what is on the left hand side is mirrored into the right hand side of the axis or looking as we go into year six, looking at mirroring below um, the y axis as well. But today we're looking at translating. So the shape when translating, it remains the same shape and it faces the same direction. So the shape won't miraculously flip over and be a different side. You are drawing exactly the same shape but just in a different position on the grid. Um, when we are talking about translating, you may be given directions or coordinates that tell you how to move the shape around the grid. And that's something we're going to go into as we go through this little modeling session. So if you look at our first question, um, Kyle has drawn a triangle ABC on this grid. The reason it's called ABC is because if we look at the points on there, we've got A, we've got B, We've got C. Um, the new triangle we need to draw will be D, E, and an F, which I'll show you where it goes in a second. So we're going to translate this one below it. And the first instruction it tells us is that from point A to point D, the instruction is down four. So it's gone one, two, three, four. Okay. Similarly, with B to E, it has gone one, two, three, four, down, four, or four, down. Okay. What we need to do now, we need to look at the second instruction, and it says, so from the point C to create the new point, it will also be four down because this whole shape is moving four down. So if we look at C, if we go one, two, three, four, that will make our new point, which we're going to call F, but that is a translation of there. But we need to do one more thing before we do that. Does anyone know what it is? Yeah, we need to join the lines up. So as straight as you can, using a ruler, not like Mr. Bunting was doing, we need to draw there, so it's completed. So can you see how it's the same shape, the same size, it's facing the same direction, but it has just moved four down. As we go on to uh, more difficult questions, you will see that um, you may have coordinates. So it may give you coordinates as the problem, not worded, not worded like this. So it might say point A, the coordinates are three, five. So we go along the X axis up the Y. So three, five. So A equals three five and it may say draw your new triangle starting at point d with the coordinates three one and then you would just draw the same triangle making sure that that, that a and d are the same corners and draw it like that okay and then shape the shape will be translated okay a bit trickier now so we've got two instructions so we're not just moving four down this triangle it's saying that we need to translate the shape seven right and five up. So we're going to say that this point here is A, this one is B, this one is C. So the first instruction, we're going to look at point A, because it, I always think it's easier to start with the first letter of the alphabet. So it's going to move seven right. So one, two, three, four, five, six seven so that is where the new point a is going to be hmm but we've got another instruction here so 
it says five up. So we've moved seven right. We also need to move five up. Just before I move on, a good way to check if you if you are using coordinates to help you, which I know some children uh, use that strategy. We started here, point A, at minus two. Okay. If we add seven onto minus two, that takes us to five. So that's a good way of checking that we've moved the right amount of spaces, taking our original coordinate, seven, adding on how many moves you're making. So seven right and checking that it gets to that the answer, which is five minus two, add seven equals five. If we're moving left, you will notice that we will be taking away because it will be moving further down the minus down the minuses. But anyway, I digress. Um, we've moved seven right. We now need to move five up. So one, two, three, four, five. So we're in this quadrant up here. So A is now here. If we look at the triangle, we notice we could go seven right and five up for B. We'll do that very quickly and I'll, then I'll show you a bit of a, a sneaky way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that one is B. But an easier way to do this um, and a little trick is just to look at the shape and try and spot if it's an if it's a simple shape like this to try and spot um, what those gaps are in between each point. So from A to B, it's one, two, three. So we know A. So we just have to move one, two, three, and from B to C, it's three again. So it's one, two, three. Now we've got C, and then all we have to do again is drawing the lines up. Not the straight one. And even though that was wonky, you can see if that was drawn of a ruler, the shape is the same shape, same size, facing the same direction. Okay, very quickly, bit of a tricky one. Um, it says here is a quadrilateral on a square grid. Draw the quadrilateral. Sorry, the quadrilateral is translated so that point A moves to point B. Draw the quadr quadrilateral in its new position. Use a ruler, which I'll try and attempt to do. So there are no points on here. No um, grid references, no numbers. So we just need to work out what has happened. So if we write a little almost calculation down here. So point A, it has moved one, two, three to the right. And have a look at how many it has moved up. So one, two, three up. So all of these points now need to move three to the right. Oh, sorry. One, two, yeah, three up. Three to the right, three up. Okay. So if we look at this point here, one, two, three, one, two, three and you may have you may have to do this for each point when the shapes are um a lot more complex than just a sort of equal, like a a standard triangle um so we've done that one i always cross them off to make sure i've done them this one here is going to be one two three one two three okay uh, so we've done that one. Uh, final point is going to be one, two, three, one, two, three. If you if it helps to put dots on there as you're counting along, like I did then, that's that's another trick to do. And then the final thing you need to do is to join all of these up as with a ruler, uh, as not as careful as that, more careful than that. And then finally, you will see 
is the same shape, same size, same direction, but it's, li it's literally just moved around that square grid. Okay, so remember, reflection, the shape may change depending on what the shape is, but the translation shape will always stay the same. It moves around the grid. Okay, hope you enjoy that, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.